Every few months, there seems to be some sort of scare article or story about juices or other products. Which ones are good, which ones to avoid? How come they never tell you to avoid the products altogether? Hey there, NJ, Route22.com here with a product uh, vlog slash alert. Uh, there was a recent article, you can read it. Uh, the link is in the description. Uh, to the article where I, I share the Consumer Reports findings about heavy metals and arsenic and all these other bad things in some juices they tested. They tested uh, each juice three times. Um, I know it doesn't really say much, but uh, some juices had higher levels of this and that and like, you shouldn't drink more than four or eight ounces a day. And they're talking about kids' uh, juice boxes and stuff. And I am of the belief that you should really kind of avoid fruit juices altogether. It's, it's pretty much just non-carbonated soda, a little more natural, but the end result is uh, high sugar and it's not good in my opinion. If you're gonna force yourself to eat uh, fruit, just eat fruit and drink water afterward. Uh, and I, I think they repeat this, this good news, bad news, good news, bad news cycle uh, maybe to shift up the, the divvying of money, like, oh, this month we're not going to buy Nudson's uh, juice, we're going to buy uh, Luza brand juice. And then six months later, oh no, Luza's no good, now we have to go back to Nudson's, they fixed the problem. And they just get you buying different brands of juices every few months. So, and never once do they say, hey, wait a minute, maybe you shouldn't be drinking these juices at all. And I think the Consumer Reports article linked in the, in the link um, does talk about n not drinking, but they make such a like a drive-by comment about it. Um, they shouldn't say just don't drink this stuff. It's it's just I'm flying. Um, I I don't know. I, I think that somehow by repeating these scare stories by saying good, bad, good, bad, you're always going to think something is good when in our opinion they're not. And Honestly, we, we give our kids uh, juice here. When I'm in charge, I water my juice down for my kids uh, probably four to one, four or five to one, like five ounces water, one ounce juice, because uh, I have to keep them away from the pure stuff as uh, long as possible, because they, they really like it. And, and if you ever see what happens to a kid when they eat anything with carbs in it, it doesn't have to be a sweet carb, it could be pasta. You put pasta, a vegetable, a meat, and something else on, on, a, on a plate for a kid. They'll devour the pasta parts first, then the sweeter parts, the, you know, the meat always goes last. And I, I really like to give my kids uh, meat and uh, dairy, but I don't know. So re read the article and let me know what you think. It's, it's, I think it's a little bit of a, of a sham. And, and again, you shouldn't be drinking these juices in any sort of quantity. Uh, because four ounces leads to eight, leads to 12, leads to 16, and they always want more and you're always buying more juice. It's just sugar water. Please, just when you realize that you, you shouldn't be eating, like even an adult shouldn't really have more than 50 grams of carbs slash sugar per day. Like one eight ounce glass of, of juice can have you know half your daily carb slash sugar requirements for the day. And it's just liquid sugar and I highly recommend staying away from it. So beware of the arsenic, have a good weekend.